Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Case Peanut, so stay tuned. Came across this at Lowe's, it was marked $44. I got the military discount, so I got 10% off, which if you go to Lowe's, you get a, a military discount if you served or are serving your country. But, so I paid $40, plus if you go online you can find it for about $40. But this is the Case Cutlery, or actually technically it's the W.R. Case and Sons Cutlery Company, or sometimes I like to refer to them as the Case Cultlery Company because people follow Case like a cult sometimes. People absolutely love these. But this particular one being a uh, peanut, sounds like it's small. Yeah, it's a small little knife. And it's a uh, slip joint, and I think it does have a half stop. And it's good for, you know, light EDC and collecting. So let's go ahead and take a, a close look. So here it is. It's pretty tiny. I'm zoomed in on it pretty good. But just to give you an idea of size, here is a Buck Stockman right there, all closed up. I'll go ahead and open it up and you can see how much bigger a normal Stockman is. I'll also roll in a Buck Solo. And you can see that the uh, Buck Solo even, even is a little bit bigger. So it's very small, very small offering. I think it might be one of the smallest offerings from Case Cutlery. Now, let's talk about the company a little bit. It has a long, long history. It's been around since 1889. And eventually they um, set root whoops, in Pennsylvania. I think it was like 1905. They went ahead and established their uh, building and their what, what's now their headquarters in Bradford, Pennsylvania. And then in 1993, Zippo bought Case. And a lot of people... Um, probably justifiably so have stated on the knife forums and on the you know a lot of YouTube channels that the quality went down but I think they're on a rebound I think it's gone back up because when I take a close look at this I don't see a lot of the issues that people were pointing out soon after you know they were bought by Zippo so I think they've uh, rebounded and they're putting out a pretty good product for the price now let's talk about the specifications really quick and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this and maybe do a, a paper cut test. Overall length of this is 4.81 inches when it's open. When it's closed it's a very small 2 and 3 quarter inches when this is closed up. Uh, the, the blade itself, the main blade, you can see is a clip point and both of them do have half stops which is really nice when you open and close this. See that? and very snappy again it's a slip joint there's your springs on the back really really nice gorgeous look at that shine but um the, you know i know that some people have done reviews on this and said that the springs were very weak but um i'm not finding it here in this example you know very tight and uh, very has a good snap if you heard that now the uh, blade is a clip point, really, really uh, nice design. You know, it's very pointy, so if you got to do some light stabbing, um, good for whittling and, and fine woodwork, you could sort of just lay your thumb right there. I mean, just a really good overall shape. Uh, really ideal for the peanut pattern knife. Because, you know, peanut is a pattern. It's a, it's a style of knife, you know, just like Stockman is a style and others so other companies will make the peanut pattern but the um, <laughs> I, I sort of go off on tangents here but really nice and we'll talk about the steel here in a minute I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the other blade the other blade that's on here is a pen blade and the pen blade is 1.625 inches the cutting edge is 1.375 inches really nice 
very small again great for very fine work maybe some letter opening something um, just to do extreme light work with but very capable <laughs> very sharp let's go ahead and just take a close look this is uh, I get my fingerprints all over this but I just wanted you to take a, a real close look take a look at that tank stamp you can see the model number I think right there see it says USA let's go ahead and look at the tang stamp on the main blade again very tight there we go and I keep on having to wipe my uh, fingerprints off this thing you can see very nice tang stamp very nicely done so let's talk about the steel they call it true sharp surgical steel but after some research it turns out that right now what what case is using for their true sharp <laughs> quote fingers surgical steel is 420HC and many of you are probably familiar with that Buck uses it a lot on, on uh, their knives and it really is a a great steel with a uh, good corrosion resistance it, it doesn't have the edge retention of that uh, um, chrome, you know, I think they call it, um, I don't I forgot what they call it now. I'm going to have to look at my notes. I, I apologize. But they have like a, um, a chromium or a chrome vadium steel, vanium, I'm probably not saying it right, steel that's used in a lot of case knives. And that steel actually has better edge retention and, you know, really can... Uh, um, sharpen a lot easier than this but this has better corrosion protection than that um, CV or VC type steel so there, there's everything really about the blade that I could talk about there's the nail nick right there both blades in here have nail nicks the let me close this up so I don't cut myself the, these bone scales are just freaking awesome looking aren't they it's an amber bone they're jigged which is this sort of uh, texture that's in it you can see that texture that's actually called peach seed texturing or pattern in there that's the type of jigging or a type of jigging really nice you could also see that it has brass nails right here and a brass center pin really nice taking a close look you can see there's no ungainly gaps or anything sometimes they don't press this together good but this sample here very tight very tight very well done how about centering are things centered really good well you can see that this blade right here is sort of off to the left but the pen blade looks centered really nice. The main blade right here, which is the clip point, is not centered. But um, I don't see any scratches on the blade because of it. The uh, handle width is, or the uh, closed width of this whole thing is just a bit over a half an inch I think it's um, 0.68 inches the weight is only 1.2 ounces it is handcrafted in the USA um, one note here is the nice shield with the case engraving on it it is glued in it is not uh, pinned in like the um, custom ones have so some people uh, say that with use eventually these will pop out and you'll end up with a, a hole in there. I don't know. I, I usually don't carry these, these type of knives. But um, if anybody has carried one of these with the unpinned shield, uh, go ahead and comment below how, how that's worked out for you. Look at these bolsters. These are uh, nickel silver bolsters just gorgeous look at look at that shine look at that shine look at that look at those fingerprints <laughs> everything is just polished so nice so nice 
Well, that's uh, really all the specifications without boring everybody to complete death. The uh, This knife does have a um, limited lifetime warranty. It's uh, supposed to be uh, warrantied against defects and material and workmanship for the life of the owner. So in this case, it would be as long as I live, this is under warranty, which is... I don't know. <laughs> it might not be too long. Who knows? Anyway, um, let's talk about the Peter 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 Pan, <laughs> the peanut style pattern, which is what this is. This is a classic peanut. Um, this is a small, round-ended serpentine jackknife. It was introduced sometime in 1915. After one look, collectors quickly referred to this pattern as the peanut due to its petite, tiny little size. So that's basically how the peanut came about. So the peanut style has been around since 1915. Now another thing you'll, you'll hear as far as terms are concerned with this is the double X tested. As a matter of fact, a little plastic uh, safety thing that came in here actually has a double X on there and the material that was came with the knife says tested XX. This refers to uh, it being checked quality control uh, being double checked as far as the heat treatment is concerned where they would check the knife and then they would go ahead and temper it and then uh, double check it and make sure that everything was uh, tempered correctly with the um, blade steel so it's double tested to make sure it is done correctly. All right, so we basically talked about everything you could possibly talk about a teeny little knife here. Let's go ahead and check out how sharp it is. Okay, well that's uh, very sharp. Almost push cutting, so I'm very happy with that. The edge here it, it would be impossible to see I don't think I could well maybe I can get it. and you could see it sort of has like a, a micro serrations the way that they um, cut this or sharpen this at the factory it sort of has a micro serration so it's not you know you, you could actually feel it just a little bit but uh, very sharp and does a very good job you know cutting paper let's see if the pen blade also cuts very good yep it must have been sharpened on the same tool now I do want to go ahead and just uh, do a close-up of the tang stamp one more time because when you have it all the way open it's hard to see the whole thing I'll go ahead and place it at the half stop so you can just take a close look at that Not sure if there was anything on the other side, no. And let's go ahead and just do one last look at the tang stamp right there on the pen knife. And you can see it is made in the USA, and there's the model number 6220SS stands for stainless steel. And again, it's that um, true sharp stainless steel that we all know as 420HC. You know what, I'll, uh, before we go ahead and wrap up the up and closey here, I'd like to take a look at those uh, three brass liners in there. So there you have it, the Petite Case Peanut. I give it a 9 out of 10. It loses one point because of blade centering of the clip point blade. But other than that, it's uh, exquisite. And, and it's just a gorgeous knife. It, it would make an excellent um, dinner knife, a gentleman's knife, or a gentlewoman's knife. They do have some other colors if you, you know, do not desire the amber bone. Um, again, jigged with peach seed pattern jigging. I did a lot of research before this particular review because I find all this just very interesting. Be you know, the, the case collectors, they're really into all these things and they just know everything about these knives. So I don't want to sound like an idiot 
to the professional case collectors, even though I probably do anyway. But I, I do find all this stuff very interesting, and I can see why these are so, so collectible. So, make a great gift, also. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you, and I hope you have a great evening. Take care. Bye.